It's always a bit worrying when a franchise you grew up with is given a big screen revival. I mean, The Phantom, The Shadow, The Punisher, Masters of the Universe, Gem and the Holograms, Transformers, Miami Vice. The list goes on and on for the number of disappointing adaptations that Hollywood has given us. Naturally, when Power Rangers was announced, many fans were worried that history was going to repeat itself with another hollow, watered-down interpretation of a beloved franchise. However, it is with great joy that I can say that Power Rangers has managed to achieve what many thought impossible giving us a fresh new movie based on a nostalgic franchise that actually appeals to fans old and new. It's funny what putting forth actual effort can accomplish. It's no secret that I'm a fan of Power Rangers, and as many of you who listen to the Geek News podcast may recall, I've been following this film since it was first announced. I was cautiously optimistic going in, but coming out of it, the film managed to surpass my expectations. The film's biggest strength comes from the fact that it takes the core concept, five teenagers with attitude being given superpowers, and brings it to its logical conclusion, while at the same time embracing the more surreal aspects of that concept. The versions of the characters in this film are actual teenagers with attitude, meaning they're rebellious, they're abrasive, they have a lot of baggage, a far cry from the idealized goody goods the original series gave us. However, it still manages to make the characters relatable and even likable. Over the course of the film, you actually see them slowly grow and come together as a team. Most importantly, you also see what makes them rangers, not in the sense that they get powers or training, but more what aspects of their character, their integrity, their loyalty, their compassion, you basically get to see what makes them worthy of becoming Power Rangers. It's a long journey to be sure, but it's well worth the payoff that awaits you during the final battle where they actually get to suit up and kick butt. Everything is built up over the course of the entire film and it never feels slow. Once we reach the final moments of the film, it feels like you're watching the series through the lens of a child with everything looking as epic and as awesome as you remember it. While the actual action choreography may look a bit slow and sluggish, the film compensates by actually having the scenes move quickly and never lingering on any moment longer than it needs to. Not to mention that the banter between the well-developed characters actually makes the slower moments enjoyable. Overall, this film takes Power Rangers and elevates it to a whole new level with its well-developed and likable cast, the blend of action and comedy that knows when to play for laughs and when to be serious, and the well-paced sequence of events that builds you up like those first moments when you're on a roller coaster ride, where you're slowly taken to the top of the curb to build up all of that potential energy, with the final act of the film being that thrill ride with all the loops and corkscrews you could ask for, complete with a smooth landing that leaves you wanting more. Simply put, this film is Power Rangers. This is what you would get from Power Rangers if it was given the large budget. It's a faithful interpretation of the series that still manages to feel fresh and new. If you're a diehard fan of the series, or even if you've never seen an episode in your life, this is a thoroughly entertaining film well worth your time. All of that said, Saban's Power Rangers gets a 5 out of 5. So that's it for this episode of Romney's Reviews. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to hear me talk about Power Rangers some more, you can either go over to my episode of From the Shelf, where I looked at both of the previous theatrically released Power Rangers films, or you can hop on over to my friend Adam's channel, where I was a guest on his Why We Geek podcast, where me, Adam, and his wife Andrea all discuss why we love Power Rangers. Take a look at either one, and well, with all of that out of the way, I will see you all next time. This is Romney, signing out.